Right, let's see if we can end this thing soon. There shouldn't be that much left. This is week eight. So that means there's not a lot left. We're still failing at lab despite doing this a hundred times. Three, is it really worth a whooshing sound? Ah, fuck it, whoosh. We did a decent job today. I hope you enjoyed that whoosh. The 32nd whoosh. And when it turned on its side, I blanked out before my journal and blew out a defeated raspberry. I was doing my usual entry and had scooted from my chair away from the lab group to focus. How else am I supposed to describe this rib bone besides it's brown, dirty, and ribby? Uh, use... Do you not have a thesaurus around? It was muddy. It was brown. It was... I see your problem. I adjusted the bone resting on the table. I was in the process of a little sketch of it as well. Writing in your diary again. Journal, and yes. I heard a chair pull up next to me, then DeAndre casually wrapped his arms around my shoulders as he peered over to observe my work. Yeah, he is indeed peering over with his arms around my... Sure, you do this every day. Any day I got something worth writing about, right now I'm summarizing what I've cleaned today. Any mention of me? Well, not quite yet. We'll be polishing something later though, won't we? It's not a diary, but I probably mentioned you a few times in passing, maybe. I stuck out my tongue playfully as his skin skimmed my pages. His eyes skimmed my pages. Ah, uh, grammatical error, Mel. He pressed a thumb against my page right under its side. You can remove its apostrophe since it's a possessive determiner, not a contraction. And that's... He picked up the rib to demonstrate. When you use its, it's always to think of it as it is. Like it's a bone. While, while an example of a possessive form is it's, um, the boner buried its dog. That's a terrible example. Is that true? Is it not also, for example, like Dave's shirt? That has an apostrophe. Whatever. That's a terrible example. Okay, improvising isn't my strong suit and I'm stuck on the dog buried its bone example. I'm learning English well, just teaching it is a different matter. I giggled and delicately erased the apostrophe. At least Cherie didn't grade me for grammar and spelling. <laughs> that would be amazing, wouldn't it? See, you appear to have got something from the Paleolithic era. I mean, not an era well known. Well, I thought you did a great job, even without any classes and lessons prepared in advance. Thanks for the tip. Should I be embarrassed? Yes. English is my major. Archaeology is yours. I skim the rest of the page and I don't know what Masterian and debitage mean. Ah, uh, you know how Rosemary works on stone tools, see? While I explain the terms, I heard DeAndre sigh. Sorry, did it bore you? <laughs> I don't think sighing is boring. I think he's just mildly uninterested. It's not that. You really have to return this Saturday. Yes, America is so far. Wish you lived in Europe, at least. Ah, should I move over here? You got family and school back there. It wouldn't be right for you to leave everything behind. Whoa. The theme tune says we have the time of our lives. Don't pass it by. Okay, I have lived by those words since we started playing this. I haven't. It's a terrible theme song. But we need to live, so fuck it. Let's just abandon everything we've got and move here. That's what a song says. It must be right. Then you moved to California. Uh, I can't. I got, finally got my rugby career taking off here and have been away from my family long enough. So hang on a minute. We had one peck with, and then he fucked off and now we're talking about moving in together. Well, not moving in together, but, you know, moving across the other fucking side of the world for one another. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's the kind of people who think about marriage before even dating, don't they? Then we both moved to Portugal. He chuckled and ruffled my hair affectionately. Well, that's one way to compromise equally. We heard the door creak. The door? What fucking door? It's a tent. Uh, the door creak as Kyler exited the museum. Oh, we can hear the museum from here? Uh, hard to tell. And passed us. He paused briefly, taking notice of DeAndre, who still hugged me from behind. I know it's not what it looks like. Actually, it is. To reaffirm, DeAndre gave me a brief squeeze before loosening his hug. Ah, figures, you two are made for each other. <laughs> yeah, that's what someone who would bitter would say. Ah, oh, you two, made for one another. A oh, perfect couple. <laughs> oh dear, we accidentally pressed skip. 
Once Kyla left, I couldn't help but grin and refer back to DeAndre's answer. Oh, is it now? Well, if you're okay with the long distance, I'm still wrestling with the idea myself. I tilted my head back. Remember, that's one peck. One peck. Deep in thought, I appreciated DeAndre's honesty, and it wasn't an easy choice. When I broke up with my ex, I was 18, and we still both lived in the same state. Would it be any different now that I was a little older? I've grown since then, right? Ahem. DeAndre jolted upward with perfect posture as my professor stared disapprovingly. Despite his size, he looked like only a child who was caught stealing a cookie before dinner. I'd appreciate it if he refrained from making a move on my student while she's learning. A teacher would say that? Man, that's harsh. Just outright call what it is. Also, you're a bit fucking late, Shereen. If you wanted your chance, I stayed in your- well, had a chance of staying in your house, alright? I didn't. Of course, Mum, I didn't mean any respect by it, honest. I was just- I promise not to do it again. Thank you. This is her final week and it is of not most importance that she concentrates. F oh, God. Are you married? There is no ring. Why am I not surprised? And you should do the same. You've improved significantly since you first started, DeAndre, but I only assist students who are serious about the elective. Sorry, we're not allowed to have fun here. Fun police, quickly, call. 6969 and a 555 at the start. The fun police, come here quickly. Too much fun is being had. I understand, I apologize for my behavior and I'll stay focused from now on. I was surprised by how poli polite DeAndre was. He did mention how strict the teachers were here. He must be used to it. I won't distract Mel during her lessons. DeAndre gave me a sly wink as he left for the lab and I barely hid my knowing smile before turning to Cherie. Uh, to be young again, right? Don't act like you're not guilty. It takes two, you know. I'm not discouraging your relationship with him, but there's a time and place for everything. <laughs> Away from me! I won't have love or fun on my watch! Uh, you're right. I, I promise to stay focused as well. Thank you. You can start by finishing your journal. Yeah. Woo! Okay, so basically, she is completely unimpressed. <laughs> Woo, I guess. We should only do volunteering from now on. Oh, goody. This again. Whoosh! We did a decent job today. We are indeed heroes. I keep accidentally skipping that, but whatever. Oh, god damn it. Eight weeks of playing catch and we still can't fucking throw a rugby ball without hitting his face. Oh lord, okay, this looks pretty easy. Whoosh. Right, that should be it. Hooray. I'm just a genius at Pie Cross, that's my problem. So we've learned everything from like dinosaur era and now we've just gone and gotten a horse. Great. <laughs> I don't think that was supposed to happen, do you? <laughs> I think someone fucked up there. <laughs> Woo, a new find to excavate. Yeah, this doesn't look. Yeah, this is piss easy as well. Whoosh! Uh, this should be it. Um, got it. I wish I could have some difficult 15 by 15 ones. They were fun as hell. I think that's our last cave. No, we have another cave tomorrow. Good. So it's the last week and nothing is happening. Oh, I 
really did have to wonder whether we were a fit or not and could do it and, you know, could be a couple, but, oh, who, who, who knows? We'll just ignore that for several days and then it'll probably come up in the last day and be all dramatic. This one's really easy, so it's going to be a very, 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 very quick whoosh. Unless I've missed anything, this is it. Yeah. <clears throat> we did that sort of haphazardly because of how ridiculously easy it was. There were lines which were just made, like all the eight ones and tens. You can just do those automatically without knowing. Dot, dot, dot. I sighed as I zipped up my rolling bag. The tent area was deserted. Everyone had either packed up and left or were in the process. As the main entrance, I could see Shri at the main entrance. The excavation team thanking the students as they departed. People were exchanging goodbyes along with hugs or adding phone numbers. This is probably the end part then. Thanks for reaching out to me, it made me feel welcome here. Yeah, you two were definitely a good addition to the game. It wasn't a problem, I know you were here to focus on your education, but it was nice chatting with you. If you ever visit Belgium again, we'd love you to show you around. <laughs> Yeah, we'll take you to Brussels, and we'll take you to Brussels, and we'll take you to Brussels. <laughs> Can't wait to see all the attractions. Take care, Melissa. Thank you, too. Shu stood to the side, quietly digging his toe into the gravel. <laughs> really? Um, it was nice meeting you, Show. Same here. Good luck with your archaeology. Thanks. Enjoy the rest of your summer. I mustered up my best smile as I waved him off. Once Kyla finished his discussion with Hendrik, he approached me. When Kyla saw me, he simply gave a nod of acknowledgement. Hey, thanks for helping me out and stuff. It wasn't a problem. Good luck with your archaeology endeavors. Hey, maybe we'll be meet up again. Don't be a stranger now. Right, take care. <laughs> yeah, he's like, no chance. <laughs> you put me through enough pain. Out of the corner of my eye, DeAndre approached Hendrik and Augustine. Thanks for giving me that second chance. You really got me out of a tight spot. No need to thank me. Hendrik was here f very adamant about helping you pass. I'm glad it all worked out. Hang on, we'll be doing a German porn accent for Hendrik? I can't even remember. How did you even get into that predicament? Miscount your additional elective credits? There was some awkward transfer of credits between New Zealand's program and Liège's. Oh yeah, Liège is in Belgium, isn't it? What else is in Belgium? Is Ghent also in Belgium? Oh, I have to Google this shit now. Ghent, Bel- Oh God, don't tell me they have three cities. They do, they have three cities. Wow. Belgium, three cities, what heroes. So I needed a class over summer to fix that. It was either here or poetry. Hey, don't diss on poetry. I mean, not my thing, but you know, don't diss on it. DeAndre shook Hendrik's hand. It is a hand. Then pulled him in for a quick hug. After a pat on the back, they stepped away, both grinning. Best of luck in Perona RC. <laughs> yeah, can't wait for you to get professional. If you need tickets, I could easily... While they chatted, I said, waved goodbye. You said waved. You waved goodbye to a few other students. Once they were gone, I twirled around and hugged Cherie tightly, not caring that the others witnessed this. Cherie, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks for this experience, I'm, I'm so happy you accepted me for this field school, I'm not exaggerating when I say this is one of the best times of my life! Roll credits, because that's the theme tune! So, no. Thank you for sharing this with me. I met so many wonderful people, I learned so much, I want to keep doing this. She patted me on the shoulder sympathetically, allowing me to calm down first. I'm glad, you know you'll always be welcomed back, I cannot wait never to return. I struggled to speak, but the offer caused my chest to tighten and I could only sob louder. It felt like a second home to me already, sure, in these two months. The routine, the earthy smell I swear I could never escape from, the digging in the cave, the sour fumes from the lab, the stupid drunken antics, the language barrier, the mundane camp food, the creaking museum roof. The stupid drunken antics like, happened once, didn't it? Whatever. Hendrix Spiels, Rosemary's enthusiasm, and even Augustine's lectures. I didn't want it to end. Thank you, I can't express how much I'll miss this place. DeAndre's eyes met mine and we quickly glanced away while I focused on the excavation team. 
Thank you for teaching me. I learned more here than I ever have in any classroom. That means you weren't paying attention. Nothing like experiencing the real thing, huh? It always makes me happy. Hang on, that was Hendrik who said that, right? Yeah, cool. It always makes me happy when students develop an appreciation for stone tools. Don't be a str- <laughs> Everyone's saying that. Don't be a stranger now. I am pleased to know that you have found it to be a meaningful opportunity. Any of Chevy's students are allowed to return. <laughs> you shouted at me! <sighs> Great dig, petit fleu. Thank you, everyone. We continued to chat about future plans until Agostin checked his watch and announced it was time to go. Everything was locked up save the front door. Hendrik even gave a spare key, along with instructions of where the s to store it before I departed. Please keep me updated on your flight. If it's cancelled for any reason, I can pick you up. How are you getting there? I'm taking the train to Brussels first thing in the morning. Actually, I felt a hand on my shoulder. I can drive you to the airport if you'd like. That way someone can confirm you've got there in one piece. So he said about, like, doing, like, you know, fucking moving across the whole world. Then we apparently didn't speak for five days. And now we're going to make this very haphazard decision. Oh, it's true love. That way someone can confirm. Yeah, you got there in one piece. I'll be good, scouts on a promise. Why is that with a U? I don't get it. <laughs> I've given up trying to figure out whether this is supposed to be in English English or American English. I can tell you you mean well. Please get her to the airport safely. Will do. <laughs> She's such a cock block. I'll be back later this evening. Thanks for all the help, Shuri, even if it took me a while to grasp everything. I'm honored that I was able to provide some insight. Even Melissa fell asleep through my lecture at first. I was it honoured with a U again? My cheeks flushed. I couldn't believe she still remembered that. Yeah, not the best impression. Anyway, take care, Cherie. I'll be in touch. Once everyone had left, I reiterated and retreated inside. DeAndre would return in a bit, and I still need to email my parents about my itinerary. Is this where we take a hap as a decision to stay here all along? Sante? Sante? I don't know what that- oh, it means cheers, okay. We clicked our drinks together, then took up a sip to commemorate the end of our field school. A tart yet sweet raspberry flavour filled my mouth. Won't be the only thing filling your mouth later on. Wow, you picked a good one! And I thought the cherry flavoured- <laughs> flavoured with a U! So confused. Was the best! This one is more subtle. The evening air was refreshing as we sat on the bench. We got a nice view from the balcony of the museum. I set the bottle down while DeAndre fiddled with the beer label of his. What happens once you return? Will you know your grades by then? My grade will be posted before the semester starts. How do you think you did? I think I did well. Uh, maybe patting myself on the back too soon, but I have a good feeling about this. That means you're fucked. Every student knows this. I was worried at first. What if I flew all the way here only to find I didn't like archaeology? I'm glad if that wasn't the case. Now I've gotten a good idea of what to expect in the field. It was worth it. I'm happy for you, Mel. I'm just relieved I passed this time. In the end, you did something outside of your comfort zone. The only thing I did outside of my comfort zone. I did wonder if I made the right choice, but then you made me feel welcome. Thanks. I know what it's like to be in a new country. It can be overwhelming, especially when there's a language barrier. Is that why you reached out? Uh, mostly that, and if I ever went to America, I'd have someone's couch to crash on. And I thought you were really cute once I learnt you went a high schooler. Not, not a wonderful way with words, is it? I'm only a few years younger than you. I kicked his ankle and he raised his arms in protest, feigning pain. Hey, sorry for being honest. Besides, you're more than just cute. I like being with you. <laughs> Welcome to Flirting Preschool Edition. Same here, DeAndre. A shame we live so far away. Look, Melissa. I'm not really good at this long distance thing, but the more I thought about leaving it as is, the less it settled with me. We've only known each other for two months, but I want to give this relationship a chance. What do you say? Elated, I threw my arms around him. We fucking made up our minds, apparently. <laughs> Didn't know that. Chuckling, he held me close as I nuzzed my face against his shoulder. I agree. There'd be too many what-if scenarios in my head if I returned home without saying anything. I want to give this a shot and see where it leads. I moved my head until I could directly look into his eyes. <laughs> you jumped then, did you? Our faces were so close that I felt the warmth of his breath. Tell him to stop breathing on you! Ah, you're worth it, and no matter what happens, I won't regret a thing. That's one of the things I like about you. You're bold. <laughs> really? I guess that's how you ended up being in Belgium in the first place. And you in New Zealand, what else do you like about me? <laughs> Quickly, compliment me more. 
I asked teasingly, and DeAndre cupped my cheek affectionately. How easy it is to get along with you, how spontaneous you are, how your liveliness inspires me. Seeing you work hard, it makes me want to push myself. You're cheerful, optimistic. Oh my god. Are you describing me or yourself? DeAndre chuckled and pinched my cheek. I was going to add small and cute, but I guess that suits me too. <laughs> yeah, alright. Well, if you've had to admit that, you shit in the bedroom. Ugh, this isn't going to work. I'm sorry. We're leaving. Bye. No, we're not going to leave it like that. You're amazing, Mel. His face gravitated towards mine. Oh, how sexy. It gravitated. The lips parted in anticipation. I tilted my head to encourage him, expecting the kiss to be gentle. We were sitting down this whole time? That I did not know. The firmness took me by surprise, and his hand cradled the side of my head. I went all northern there, the side of my head. And that's not cradled, is it? I think that's pushing at that point. There was resolve behind his kiss, mixed with passion and longing. For a moment I didn't move or breathe as I registered the sensation. <laughs> oh, what a romantic kiss. You just sat there and didn't move. I wanted to savour it. Relish the softness of his lips, yet at the same time I wanted it to deepen. His hands dropped to my waist and I felt his fingers brush under the hem of my shirt. Every touch was electrifying. I hate that word. Oh, now we're both pushing one another's head. Our kiss escalated into a fair of heated movements as he sought entrance to my mouth. <laughs> oh, how romantic! He sought entrance to my mouth! Oh my god. <gasps> oh, that sounds horrible! He probed with light, quick tastes before growing bolder, sending shivers down my spine. Reluctantly, we managed to separate the kiss, both of us gasping for breath. Our faces flushed. I felt numb to the outside air. I could only gawk at DeAndre in surprise. Um, he seemed taken aback as well in an impressed way. I didn't expect the kiss to- wow. Talk about chemistry. <laughs> Uh, what a thing to say! Our giggles turned into full-blown laughter. <laughs> yeah, I think my reasons for laughing aren't quite the same as yours. When we stopped, I affectionately nudged my forehead against his. The warmth of his body, the woody scent of his cologne, I wanted to commit it to memory. Jandre leaned in to kiss me once more, a loud glassy glassy clank interrupted us and we automatically turned toward the source. His foot had knocked over his empty bottle which rolled harmlessly in an arc. Maybe we shouldn't make out in high places considering your track record. Agreed. Should we continue indoors? He effortlessly picked me up and I clung to him from surprise. Whatever you do, don't drop me. What? Really? He's like a six foot eight muscle head. I'm not that clumsy, you can trust- Oops! I squealed as my stomach lurched from a sudden drop, however, he still held me close. I realised he was joking. Ha, <laughs> what banter. You jerk, I hope you hit your head on the doorframe. Ouch, harsh. Are these your true colours, Mel? Maybe, but it's too late to back out now. I sealed our silly banter with a kiss. <sighs> banter. As he opened the door, that, that, that is a word to be used ironically and only ironically. I wanted our last night together to be memorable. We're here. Well, I mean... That's a lot we skipped. That's a lot I'm going to assume that happened. He announced our arrival and I hastily unlocked the door, practically spilling out like I had survived a three-loop roller coaster and a 60-foot vertical tower ride combined. Thank heavens. He had parked at the five-minute drop-off stools in front of the main entrance to my designated gate. I straightened my carry-on strap while DeAndre opened the trunk and transported my luggage to the curb. After he set it down with a small thud, I approached him, hoping to maintain a cheerful air. DeAndre, thanks for everything. No problem. Wanted to make sure you got to the airport in one piece. With that kind of driving, I was lucky to. So harsh. So harsh. Be sure to text me when you get home. I will. You take care and good luck with your rugby now. That you're done with school. When's the grad ceremony? Not until January. I could have finished this June if I didn't miscount my credits. Of course, if that mishap, mishap didn't happen, I wouldn't have met you. Oh, so romantic. We exchanged a brief but passionate kiss, <laughs> followed by a hug. I embraced him tightly as I balanced on my tiptoes. Our tender moment was abruptly ruined by an obnoxious car honk behind us. I probably should leave before we get a line going. Wait, Melissa. He reached out and grasped my hand, causing me to pause. There was a tremor in his voice and he gazed at me pleadingly. <laughs> 
I swear, if he does something like fucking getting on one knee. <laughs> this isn't fair. Right after we start a relationship, you have to re leave? Do you really have to return home? Yeah, I thought this was coming. Well, I know we promised we'd be together, but I want to spend more time with you as your boyfriend. It'll give me something to look forward to when I, when I know it already what it's like. You can meet my family, I'll show you around Perona in its stadium, we could explore Belgium, but the flight, I'll pay. Huh? I've sort of been saving up, it's not much, but I'll cover the next flight. I owe that to you and your folks. I'm not asking you to remain here for long, just a week. A week! <laughs> yeah, oh man, you're gonna pay for a, a transatlantic flight. Like, across the Atlantic, just to like, oh yeah, just stay an extra week, will you? <laughs> a week! Oh man. But your dream of seeing New Zealand again means nothing if you're not with me. Oh, my heart! He squeezed my hand. After a moment's hesitation, I mustered up a smile. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get out of here. My response stunned DeAndre, but he quickly recovered and jabbed the thumb towards his car. Climb in, I got your luggage. The car shook briefly from the door slams. I anxiously glanced out of the window that squeezed my knees. My heart pounded so hard I worried I'd get sick. You okay? J just go before I change my mind. You don't need to tell me twice. I can't believe I'm doing this. The car sharply served. Served? I assume that means swerved, into the traffic followed by unhappy honks at his reckless driving. I inwardly apologised to Sherry and my parents, <coughs> and the viewers and my gravelly voice. But at the same time, the choice thrilled me and I couldn't stop smiling. I'd probably get in a lot of trouble, but I knew it would be worth it. I'm presuming this is the end of the game. It is the end of the game. Oh man, wasn't that fun? You know, I like this game, okay? Do you know the problem with this game? It's so unoffensive. It's slice of life written to a T. This is why I normally am not too big on slice of life. Nothing happened. There's no story, there is no conflict. We basically just dicked around for a while. I did not know Aura worked on this game. But like, we dicked around for a while, you know? That's all there was. There was nothing happening here. There was nothing amazingly fun about it. It was a solid like six out of ten. Like I like the mini games. I didn't like the RNG one, but I like the Pie Cross game. But I like Pie Cross. I... It's weird because if someone like if, if if I got on with a friend now, ooh, four months later, we'll continue this in a second. And voila! This is my bedroom. Oh, we're in America now, I presume. The shit. Did your grandparents design this room? Jesus. My parents were away visiting friends and would return before Christmas Eve. For now, we were determined to have a few days of peace and quiet. I even stocked the fridge full of things I planned to cook for DeAndre. I wanted to make up for everything he did for me while I stayed that extra- You only stayed a week in Belgium! Oh my god, you hurt me. You actually hurt me. I upgraded from scrambled eggs to omelettes. He'll be so surprised, I can't wait. Wow, this is nice. I love the colour scheme you got going. Your trophy display is similar to mine, sans the dancers. The colour scheme? It's yellow and pink. I Whatever. You look tired, make yourself at home. Relieved, he plopped down on the bed and sprawled out like a starfish. It was a long flight and our nerves were shot from the sheer anticipation of seeing each other again. So soft, I feel like I'm gonna sink if I sleep here. You're over-exaggerating. Seriously, I think I'm bought. I'm being absorbed into its membrane. Something something insane in the membrane? I, I know that's a meme. I approached closer. Now you're just being silly- Whoa! With a mischievous grin, he playfully tugged on my arm and he pulled me over until I rested on his torso. Gotcha. He tousled my hair affectionately. You tease, you better be on your best behaviour when my parents return. <laughs> oh man, they're gonna be happy. Your parents don't mind on visiting? They're not mad at me anymore, right? No, they understand how serious we are about this relationship. <laughs> yeah, sure they do. I can't believe your family pitched in for my flight back though. Why not? They adored you, Mel. Quarantine, Febe, Clara, Mum, Dad, you got along with everyone. I think they doted on you more than they did me. I, th I don't know what that means. I think they doted on me more than you dote on me. I don't know what any of this means. What? No one spoils. Oh, okay, me spoil. Right. No one spoils my girlfriend more than I do. Who made you those triple chocolate cupcakes? 
You did. You made the cupcakes. What a natural conversation. I hope it wasn't too overwhelming, being an only child and all. No, if anything, I wish my own household was like that. But now I understand when you complain about lack of privacy. We exchanged a knowing look. Well, at least when you visit Belgium again, you'll be able to stay in my apartment. Right, how was the move? Relatively painless. Your expression would suggest it's not. Only a stack of unopened boxes left. Glad to be pro closer to Perona RC. Ah, the great Perona RC. Hendrik attended one of my games recently. Did he? What's he been up to recently? <laughs> what do you think he's been up to recently? He quit his job and became a dancer. Why not? Break dance. He's been busy with the German archaeological sites. I think Kyler is currently working on one of those. Show and I keep in touch sometimes. So he's drawing for a game right now. Some indie company, I'm not sure, but he's happy with it. He closed his eyes as if he tried to recall another tidbit of information. Instead, he let out a sigh and I could feel his chest rising and falling deeply. That flight wiped me out. That and the energy drink crash. Smiling, I planted a small kiss on his cheek while he placed a protective hand over the small of my back. You can fall asleep. I'm ready to pass out myself. I stayed up all night tracking your flight. Then... He rolled over until we were both on our sides, with him hugging me close. After a moment of silence, I piped up. You'll still be here when I wake up, right? No, he'll he'll fucking vanish into thin air, or it'll be replaced. Yes, of course he will. Of course, Melissa, I'm not going anywhere. Save for like a week or so. He kissed my forehead to reassure me, and I snuggled closer. Content, I closed my eyes. His warmth is cologne. He used warmth in cologne last time. Everything was soothing. It seemed like forever until my heart stopped beating frantically and finally accepted that DeAndre was here in person. I vowed to cherish the next two weeks and more. Now it's the end of the game. Yeah. Woo! With you, right, this game. As I was saying, it's honestly because I think it's just Slice of Life. If you like Slice of Life, holy shit, you're going to like this game. It is so Slice of Life. However... Nothing happens. There's just a few mini games, and then you get to know some hunky guys. There you go. That is that is that is the whole of the game. There will never be anything more than that. There are scenes which go nowhere. There are scenes that are pointless. Uh, I guess it's because of slice of life. You know, it's just a solid six out of ten. It doesn't do anything groundbreaking. Oh man. But somehow I would recommend it. Only if you like Slice of Life, though. Only if you like Slice of Life. Right. I'm going to leave the rest of the theme song on so you guys know what I'm on about when I say that this is the worst theme song in the world. <laughs> the ho this whole game's pretty good. This theme song, worst in the world. It's terrible. I'll leave the rest of this on. Oh, just listen to the fucking chorus. It's painful. So far away from home. Into the great unknown. Belgium. The great unknown. <laughs> oh, God. Ah, oh, my name's Winter If you've gotten this star and you're not subscribed, please do. I'll leave you with the worst ever theme tune you will hear for visual novel. Goodbye, YouTube. Every day a little bit further along. Let's make the most of every lasting memory Here we are, you and me We'll have the time of our lives Don't pass it by We'll have the time of our lives Just you and I so far away from home Because it's now or never Together it feels right We'll have the time of our lives When the moment arrives We'll have the time of our lives Don't pass it by We'll have the time you and I